Hello everybody, I'm Peter De Finn from Ex Christian Church and I wanted to just come and just speak to you in light of the coronavirus that has now come to South Africa and of course of what's happening around the world and um, of course this is a very serious uh, uh, disease you know that's affecting many industries and churches and communities around the world and uh, it's very important that we take it seriously and we respond to it, um, particularly uh, in our homes with good hygiene, in, the, in our workplace, and even as a church, we're going to be taking steps over the next two weeks to make sure we have good hygiene practice in our, in our services, in our children's church, in the main auditorium. And um, I also want to just say to you that there's a lot of uh, things that are going around and. Uh, a lot of fear that's in the hearts of people, particularly with the unknown. Um, there's a particular psalm that I see a lot of people are mentioning on Facebook and different social medias, and that is Psalm 91. It's such a wonderful, encouraging psalm, and I would really encourage you to, to have a look at this psalm and pray it over your life, pray it over your family. I want you to take a few points from Psalm 91, and firstly, it says in verse 5 of Psalm 91 that you shall not be afraid of the terror by night. You know, fear is an incredible power. Um, actually, just by fearing something, it can control your emotions. It con can control your heart. In fact, the Bible says our heart will fail from fear. And so it's an incredible power. And the Bible tells us to not be afraid. So firstly, we need to understand is that God loves us. God loves you. God loves your family and that he wants protection for our families. But don't fall into the trap of fear so that it controls your emotions and controls your speech and your language and your time. Um, use the same time to get into Psalm 91 and begin to speak life over your family, life over yourself. So it says, do not be afraid of the terror. So here you see that fear came first. Even before terror came, there was fear. And God doesn't want us to fear. But rather, in verse 4 it says, let his truth be your shield and your butler. Let his truth be your shield and, and your, your butler. And the truth is, God wants to cover you with his feathers. The truth is, God is our healer. Jesus died on the cross, paid the price for our healing. And I want you to begin to claim healing and deliverance over your household. This is the truth that God wants us to meditate on and to, um, to love the word, love what God says about you and who you are. This is important. Now verse 10 says, no evil shall befall you. And I love that. And I want us to prophesy that over ourselves as a church. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. And so today we're going to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let no plague come near our dwelling in Jesus name. And then of course it ends off with a few verses here in verse 14. It says, because you have set your love upon me, therefore I will deliver you. And so just, just stay in the love of the Lord. Stay in worship. Uh, honor the Lord. Bless him and love him and trust the Lord Jesus Christ for your family. And then lastly, it says, with, with long life, I will satisfy you. What a wonderful promise we have today that um, you're going to live long in Jesus' mighty name. And I bless you and I bless our church. I bless our families and let us stand together in faith and let us pray for South Africa right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our wonderful nation. We thank you for the nations of the world. And Lord, we ask right now that you would fill our hearts with faith, trusting you as our deliverer, as our healer, as our wonderful Father. Father, I pray protection, particularly over the elderly right now, over the various homes, that you would protect us and keep us and deliver us. Lord, I pray also 
that you would put a halt to this virus around the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, and everybody said, Amen. God bless you, everybody. We love you.